Alrighty, so today we're going to be having a look at budgeting with a spreadsheet. So essentially we're going to be doing everything we've been doing up to this point, but we want to use a spreadsheet to do all of the bulk calculations for us. And so you can see we've been given a little budget here. Um, it says state the monthly total, round it up to the nearest $10 that must be allocated to car expenses. So this is everything you need to do to do your car. $80 petrol, $20 cleaning per month, and then the rest of these are all annual, so tires, rego, insurance, service, and repairs. And so the question is, how much is it actually going to be when we add up all of these together? And so a lot of these calculations are going to be repetitive. And so Excel is a fabulous way of um, basically dealing with that repetitive calculations. So I've already turned this into a spreadsheet. The main thing that I'm going to do now is just uh, add a little bit of flair here. So I'm going to bold all of the, um, the headings. Um, if you really want, you can even um, change the color. So I might use a little uh, a dark gray to sort of just uh, make it look a little bit nicer, especially if I was going to make a report. One thing you notice, there's no lines in between the cells. It's another thing that a lot of people like to turn on. Makes it look a little bit nicer. So I've literally just gone through all of these cells, typed the dollar symbol and the amount of money. And you can see it's actually treating them already like a currency, which is perfect. So let's start thinking about the formulas we need. Well, to convert from weekly to monthly, well, we don't do that. Remember, we go to annual first. So let's do that formula first. So this is equal to the weekly, and then that's going to be times 52. Remember, we use the asterisk button, which is located above the 8, to mean multiplication. Alrighty, um, and then to get from annual to monthly, well, we divide. So we go equals this divided by 12. There you go. Um, so there's the, the monthly amount. Um, now, once again, to convert from monthly to weekly, well, we're just going to go this equals that uh, times by 12 because it's already a monthly, we want an annual. So there we go. And to get to weekly, it's going to be this one divided by 52. Alrighty. Now this formula is actually going to work for all of these, right? Because for each of these, it's just to get from annual to monthly or to weekly, we just divide by 52. So I can, once again, regular white cross, white cross, weird black cross, special black cross. So we want that special black cross, and we're going to drag it down um, until we've got it. And you can see here, we've got all of the different amounts just like that. So these are all the weekly expenses, so $8 per week for the tires. Alrighty, let's continue on and now let's look at doing the same thing for the monthly column. So for the monthly column, we're going to go um, and take this one and divide it by 12. So equals this one slash 12. And then once again, this formula is going to work. So we can drag that one down. You can see there we go. Now I don't like this rounding. I want to get rid of all of this. So these buttons up here will change the rounding and I want all of them to be... Um, zero decimal places essentially. Um, we might even try and round them to the nearest ten dollars but we might do that at the end. So how we work out the totals? Well the totals means that we're going to add them all up and we use a special function here this is called the sum function. Sum just adds everything up. So you can click sum and then you click and drag the cells you want. The notation here says from B2 to B8. The uh, colon here all it does is says all of those cells. So if you wanted to manually type it, you could say, well, from B2 until B8. And that's going to do the exact same thing. And then you can just click Enter. Um, now, this formula is actually the same all the way across, so we can do that again. And there we go. So we have the weekly cost is $156, the monthly cost is $505, and the annual cost is uh, $6,060. So let us have a look at the, uh, the actual question. So it says, uh, state the monthly total, round it up to the nearest $10 that must be allocated to car expenses. And so that would be $505, uh, rounded to the nearest $10. So $505 would be rounded up to $510 per month based on this number right here. So. There you can see setting up a budget is really easy. You only need to know a few commands, times, and the divide command, and then the rest of it's quite easy. Oh, I put in divide 25. I should put in divide 52 for these ones, and let's fix up this column now. There we go. That looks a little bit better. 
Um, just check these ones, yep. Um, now, just one last thing with Excel. Sometimes you want to show the formulas. So just to show all of the formulas that I'm using, I can click on the formulas tab. Uh, it looks a bit different on Macs. It's a bigger button, but there's a button that should say show formulas. If you click on that, this is the view you get. I might just make some of these columns a little bit smaller because they're quite large. But you can see all of the formulas in there and you can double check that it's doing exactly what you want. So for example, if I want to check this sum one, you can see it's D2 to D8 and it's even highlighted the cells. Um, and for this one here, converting from monthly to annual, you can see um, that it goes through. It does get rid of all of the dollar signs because it's now a different view. Alrighty, there you go. Um, hopefully you know how to use a bit more of Excel. See you in the next one. Goodbye.